Interest in this story is not confined just to Canada. The Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has apologized after a picture of him in brown face surface. It has made international headlines. The leader once seen as a champion of progressive ideals now splashed across the world in brown and blackface. Our Ottawa bureau chief Mercedes Stevenson broke the story about the latest images of Trudeau in blackface. Mercedes, what more do we know about that video? Well, Donna, we know that it is Justin Trudeau because the Liberal War Room has confirmed that to us and that it was sometime in the early 1990s. Beyond that, the Liberals have not had much to say about why he was wearing that racist makeup in those images. They've explained the other images were theatrical, that one was a play, that one was a themed party, but they have refused to elaborate on what he was doing in this video as to why he was in full blackface from head to toe. So that's a big question that remains at this point. We know that uh, the source in the Conservative Party that brought this to us said that it was on a whitewater rafting trip. You can see in the background there is somebody wearing uh, a life jacket in that image. We've asked the Liberal Party about that specifically as well and they've not responded to it. So still a lot of questions about what exactly he was doing here uh, and questions about why he didn't reveal it earlier because he said that he found it embarrassing and didn't disclose it during the vetting process. Listen to what he said to reporters earlier today. I never talked about this. Uh, quite frankly, I was embarrassed. Uh, it was not something that represents uh, the person I've become, the leader I try to be, uh, and it was really embarrassing. So there's this question, Donna, of how many other times has this happened? And Justin Trudeau didn't seem able to remember that today. He was asked. Uh, he would not put a number on how frequently this had happened. Uh, that suggests that perhaps the Liberals are concerned that there could be more of these images to come out. Also, he's not the only person across the Canadian political spectrum that is facing this tonight. The Conservatives have a candidate named Tamara Jansen who is running in Langley, B.C. Images of her apparently from 2016 have surfaced on social media. She She's not wearing blackface in the photos, but she is posing with a number of actors who are in blackface. So this is really a new question for Canadian politics as parties are going to have to look at their candidates and figure out how many may have something this embarrassing and this negative in their past.